Hello and welcome to a channel update for March. So we're going to be talking about all the stuff that's going to be on the channel this month and talking a little bit about where the channel's going in the future. We're also going to be talking a little bit about the Discord and about a few kind of miscellaneous things here and there. So let's have a look at the new schedule because there are some differences and there are some things that look a little bit odd. So let's just start at the bottom, move away top because that'll kind of go in the order I want to talk about things. Let's talk about the Swordlade Wharf. So that series is fairly close to ending. It's kind of at the point where we know what our objective is. We've worked that out. We know how we're going to get there. There's a fairly clear path to getting there. So it's just pretty much about finishing it up. Now, it might end this week. It might end next week. Either way, it's probably going to not be done before there's like a ma Well, it's probably going to be done before there's like a major update to any kind of mod. So we're probably going to be playing one of the other mods that updated for Reaper's Dew. Something like Elder Kings, maybe something like the Witcher mod, the Avatar mod, After the End, things, uh, something like that. Not entirely sure which one we would go for yet, but probably something like that. Probably not a long series, so maybe a new mod that we just try out for a little bit. Maybe a mod that we feel doesn't have a lot of depth to it. Maybe something like that might be a good idea, just, you know... Try out for a couple of weeks or try out until a new mod that's got a ton of depth to it uh, comes out or something gets updated for the uh, new DLC for Crusader Kings that just came out. So yeah, uh, Dwar Dwarfs though, it was a good series, uh, people seem to be liking it. I think it was a better Warhammer series than some of the other ones we did. It seems to do better when it was a slower game, so we may try something like that again, may try something completely different again, we'll see. Next one we're going to talk about is Pillars of Eternity, which we are close to finishing the first DLC on. It is a... it's a long game, basically. It's still fun, but it's a game that we're having to do a lot of, um, you know, we're having to do a lot of fights that are getting more and more difficult. Things are taking longer and longer to actually get through in terms of content, but I'm still enjoying it, so it's still going to be on the channel. It, however, isn't going to be finished in time to um, do what I was originally planning, which was to have all the pillars, you know, finished up, backlogged, and then we could play Mass Effect in its slot. So we're doing a little bit of some moving around of stuff work based on what series are actually going to be ending closest to the time. So not sure when Pillars will be ending or anything like that. Pillars is just kind of continuing on. Uh, views still seem to be going about the same amount for it. I think we've we've hit a level where it's going to stay consistent, so that's good. Um, and it's not that bad a level, so that's good. We can uh, keep going with that series. Next one we're going to be talking about is Skyrim. Now, Skyrim is a series that I am enjoying doing because it's something completely different. However, I feel it needs a lot more stuff done around it. And it also needs a huge mod kind of overhaul. So what we're going to do is at the end of the current storyline that we're doing, we're going to take a break, we're going to call that season one, and then we're going to go and do all, well, I'm going to go and do all the stuff that needs to be done to it. Like, we need to change the lighting mod, need to probably change a few other mods. There seems to be some things that are clashing, going to go and fix those. We need to, you know, there's a bunch of stuff we need to go and change. And uh, I want to do some stuff with the videos themselves. So I don't feel like with the current series, the way we're doing it, like I don't want to do an intro. I don't do like, hello and welcome back to Skyrim, kind of at the start of each episode. So in that case, I need an intro thing to go in that slot. So I'll need to go make that. Like maybe um, the stuff I've seen that I quite like is kind of like the simple like text for the episode, like, you know, episode number episode name and then you know skyrim and then it fades into the uh the thing starting or maybe like a cold open kind of thing where it starts with a little bit of the previous episode and then it stops and moves and then we move on to the new episodes uh from that point so it's kind of like a continuous thing i don't know there's a lot of different things that can be done with it and i want to experiment with that a little bit i also want to do an outro kind of thing so that um it kind of has a set end point and like there's you know it kind of it doesn't just end it just can't, it actually has a proper you know as a proper kind of standardized thing for ending an episode we'll see how that goes but i want to do some of that before um we come back with skyrim so uh that will probably be ending in uh i've recorded three episodes at this point 
I reckon that the next part of it will take us another episode. And then there'll be, if I remember the storyline right, right, there'll be one more after that. So there'll be five more episodes uh, from this point. So from Tuesday the 7th, so that'll be probably just about exactly the right time for Mass Effect to come out on the day that uh, we finish Skyrim. Or like, or if not the day, like a couple of days uh, before we finish Skyrim. So that'll be perfect. That lines up perfectly for Mass Effect taking that slot in terms of time. And I'm going to have Mass Effect as a five episode series, ideally, because it's going to be something that I want to put a lot of time into very quickly. Because I really like the Mass Effect series. Like, it is something that I spent a lot of time on. And um, hopefully Andromeda is good. I've seen a lot of people saying that some of the gameplay they're putting out looks really good. But I haven't looked at it myself. I want to kind of go in a little bit blind. It's going to be Mass Effect styled. Anyway, it's going to be kind of Bioware styled game. So there's, hopefully there isn't too many curveballs in there. Um, or if there are, then hopefully they're not just awful. But yeah, anyway, Mass Effect will be coming after Skyrim. And then after either Mass Effect or Pillars ends, we'll probably come back to Skyrim. That's the current plan, but I'm not entirely sure because, you know, I don't know how long Mass Effect is. Is it a 30 hour game? Is it a 10 hour game? Is it a 60 hour game? Is it a 100 hour game? Who knows? Uh, so when uh, we have a better idea of how long that's gonna take, we can start working out schedules a little bit more. Next thing that I'm gonna talk about is Never Start a Land War in Northeast Asia, which is all recorded now. Now, the reason it's all recorded is because I wanted to play it all in the previous patch. Although the saves are compatible for the new patch, I wanted to make sure that I had all the games kind of all done uh, so that's all kind of done recorded and uh, I'm hopefully going to be doing some editing to that to make it a little bit cleaner because there are a few things where we're waiting for threat levels to go down we're waiting for you know um, XYZ things to happen we're waiting for armies to reinforce and we can maybe cut out a little of that because um, it wasn't the most interesting to play so I'm not 100% sure it'll be the most interesting to watch so Probably not the best thing to say in kind of an update video where I'm trying to sell these series to. But basically, um, I'm going to try and make it a, a little bit more exciting. We'll see. Um, it could be that I just kind of fade in, fade out uh, a couple of months while we're waiting for stuff to happen. Um, but we'll, we'll see exactly how things work out in the end of that. But it is being replaced by the new player CK2 uh, series, which I haven't entirely decided what we're doing in that. I need to have a look at Monks and Mystics. Um, in the actual game and kind of have a feel for what I think would work well but I want to kind of go into it I want to do a series where we explain everything that's happening and I want there to be a series where it's very much a landing point for people who don't know how to play CK2 where they can watch the series and be like okay I cannot understand what's going on I can work with this so that's kind of my goal for that series as a whole so we'll see how it goes um, I also want to, maybe with that series, have an extra, maybe episode or two on later at the start of the week or at the end of the week, where if anything comes up, like, say we talk about Succession Law, I want to go and have a series where we, well, have an episode just dedicated, we just talk about the different Succession Laws, we go through it, we actually go, like, you know, we go through it step by step, we go, here's the advantages, here's the disadvantages, and all that sort of stuff. And we can do that with different things, army compositions, things like that. And we can, and we can da kind of drill down into the details. Which I think is cool, because you don't do that in a lot of other series, because, well, it kind of bogs down the gameplay a little bit. Anyway, um, last one we're going to talk about is... Oh, also I should say that uh, that does mean, because Never Start a Land War hasn't finished, that the new player series will be on at 4 o'clock GMT. The reason I wanted to do that was because I thought putting up at 10 GMT is going to cut out... But Quite a lot of people in Europe, so I don't know. I put it up at four, so that way it's it's up whenever you want to watch it. Um, yeah, whatever. You don't care, but that's fine. It's a video. It'll be up there for as long as you want to watch it. It'll be up there the next day. Um, it's not like it's uh, a live stream or anything. So next one is Diablo three. Diablo three. I think we're about halfway through. We're at the end of Act two, which would tell me that we're halfway through the game, given there are four acts, I believe. Or maybe there are five acts. Um, I don't know. I feel like we're halfway through the game because we are kind of, even though like we are only at the end of Act 2, I feel like we're starting to get through acts really quickly. Like we're starting to get to the point where our characters are maybe slightly overpowered, but 
that's kind of how these things should go. I mean, at least it's better than Torchlight, where the further through the game we got, our characters became worse and worse and worse, until everything became a slog. Now things are like, okay, how do I optimally make my build so that I can carry on being a badass, opposed to being like, eh, uh, okay, we're, we're slowly kind of uh, getting overwhelmed by these enemies kind of thing. So, Diablo 3 has got, it, it's fun. It's a fun series. And uh, although it's a little bit difficult to record, sometimes I think it's something that we'll keep doing. Um, views for are reasonable in terms of what my expectations were and what the views are. Um, so that's good as well. Uh, had a few comments early on, haven't had any throughout it really, but that's fine because I never really expected any. Oh, I should say with Skyrim, I don't know if we've had a if we've had an actual. Uh, update since then um since the series has properly been out but thank you for all the comments on it because uh, there are a lot of people like saying things about mods saying things about how the videos are looking and it's a lot of help to actually have some kind of critical feedback so i can go and change things and make things actually different so hopefully that's good uh, and that is one of the reasons why i want to take a break from skyrim so i can actually go and fix a lot of these issues that have been brought up um but yeah after diablo 3 ends we're gonna go play either Divinity or Pit People or something else. Or we're going to take a break. Who knows? But that is the current plan. Divinity shouldn't be that far out from actually coming out properly. Like, they have been talking like that they're a feature complete kind of thing. So they've been saying like they got all the things that they want in the game in. I think they said that in one of their Kickstarter updates. So I think that we're getting to the point where they're polishing the game and it will probably be out reasonably soon. But I'm not entirely sure exactly when that's going to be. So, we'll see. When they announce a release date again, we can make better kind of uh, schedules. And the bit at the bottom of the um, screen here, you'll see we've got some different uh, little tab things here. This is basically me just saying, here are some things that um, I have kind of... I have to remember, like, different kind of uh, games that have either been suggested or that I've written down as, like... Here's something we could go back to or something like that. So for CK2 mods, we've got all of the ones that I had said previously when we were talking about what might come after the Dwarfs mod. If there's anything I've missed here, by the way, please tell me. I'll try and write it down. Anything that uh, you think, oh yeah, that should totally be on your list. Well, that's why I'm showing you them now. RPGs, we've got like um, the Witcher series. I want to try and maybe give another shot uh, on video because I feel like maybe the problem was when we went into Witcher 3 that just the mindset wasn't quite right, and also the fact that we hadn't done the previous games, things weren't quite as smooth as they could have been. I think the Witcher series could be um, a cool thing to have on the channel. Um, there is Torment Tides of Numenera, I think is the full name of the game, which I want to try out. It's going to be a very long, it's similar to Pillars of Eternity kind of game in terms of um, like its scope, I think, from what I've been reading. And it kind of has, it's the kind of trick, it's got a lot of CRPG stuff, but people are saying it's really good, so I want to try that out. Tyranny, I want to try out because people, again, said that's really good by the people who made uh, Pillars of Eternity, so you'd expect it to be. It's an obsidian game. Um, Pillars of Eternity 2, I thought I'd just put there as a thing to point out that the game has got a fake campaign for the new. Um, like for the new game and I have backed that so hopefully we'll play that when it comes out but well, that's probably going to be a couple of years from now um, we have Knights of the Old Republic that I want to go and try out because I want to maybe do a um, an older game again because uh, Jade Empire actually did fairly well on the channel um, so I want to maybe try something um, a little bit older something that maybe um, somebody, somebody did actually say with uh, Pillars one of the reasons why they weren't wa uh, they weren't watching it was because the game was fairly long and actually it didn't come out that long ago so they hadn't finished it yet so they didn't want to watch it because that would be spoilers like they wouldn't actually like um they may watch it after they finish the game because then they're not going to be spoiled when they try and play it through themselves so i was thinking for an rpg kind of thing playing a game that's a little bit older may be good because then people um, maybe will have already played it so they're not worried about spoilers but when they go into it they'll be like Okay, this is, um, I don't remember all the little bits about it. So I think that could be a cool thing to do. And I put at the bottom Mass Effect, because we are going to play Andromeda, but it might be a good idea to go and play the other ones afterwards. We'll see. We'll see exactly how we feel at the time. Um, next part is kind of other games. 
basically games I didn't really have a great category for. Generally kind of management-y type games, but there are a few others. Uh, Factorio was one that I've heard a lot about. People are saying it's really, really good. So probably want to try that out. RimWorld again is something that um, you want to go back to. Uh, Banished and City Skylines, I believe, were the ones that won... Well, or didn't win, but obviously, because Skyrim won. But we're close to winning that poll we did a while back. So we'll see um, whether we can get them in at some point. Mountain Blade is one that people have mentioned again, and we should probably go back to at some point. Um, either going back to something like the Game of Thrones mod, or maybe going to Bannerlord, depending on what's out at the time. And then, of course, there is the Telltale games that I've been playing through as they come out, but they're a little bit random on when they come out, but I like playing them on the channel and people seem to enjoy it, so I think it's cool to keep them there. So, that is pretty much everything that we've got for the channel this, uh, well, this month so far. So, thank you for watching, and of course, if you have any comments or anything, uh, go and check out the Discord. You can go and uh, put suggestions there. You can put it under this video, you can put it under a specific video if you have feedback for that. You can send me a message on YouTube, you can send me a message on Twitter, you can do all sorts of things. Um, you can like a video, you can dislike a video, all of that will help me know what you're thinking. And hopefully, um, you know, if you have any ideas, we'll be able to change some stuff around it and make them work. So, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, goodbye.